Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about the new speed improvements in the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now the timeline in Premiere Pro has gone through a huge performance update thanks to the brilliant senior computer scientist Ken James at Adobe. We're gonna talk more about him and the other people that made this possible, but I wanna show you what it is, how they did it, and why it's important. And some of those why uh, reasons might surprise you. So let's have a look at uh, what they did. So I'll, I'll try it in an earlier version first. So here we are in the old version of Premiere Pro, and you'll see when I click on the timeline, these are 4K clips, uh, by the way, when I click on the timeline, it takes a moment, uh, we're at full resolution too, it takes a moment to update the display. There's a little bit of a lag as you do that. And I think we're all used to that. Now what happens when I drag the uh, playhead? You'll see that the playhead has a hard time catching up with the mouse pointer. It lags behind and it's a very choppy experience. The engineers call this the CTI, the current time indicator actually. We all call that the playhead. Now next up is to drag a clip past the view of the timeline. And that's going to bring in auto scroll. As we move to the right hand side over here, you'll see the timeline start to speed away, but it does so in a chunky manner. You'll see it, and this again is something that Premiere Pro, it was, it was just typical of it. It takes a little bit of time to update that playhead, the timeline. There we go back, there we go. Also, there's been an update in the way that that uh, the edges look when we're doing the ed we're doing any kind of trimming um, in the old way it just inverted the edge of the clip we're doing a rolling edit or a trim and if we're going to add if we add a transition it shows up as an inverted display and same with the the uh, dragging the edge of the the uh, uh, transition so that's the old way of doing things now here we are in the newest version of Premiere Pro and you can see instantly it updates wherever I put the playhead boom 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 just like that again 4k clips just like butter and look at this dragging the playhead we <laughs> Oh man, look at how fast. I have never, ever seen Premiere Pro that fast. And again, these are 4K clips. Amazing performance. Now let's do the auto scroll where we drag it to the edge. Hold on to your hats. Look at this. Not only is it faster, Ken gave us variable speed. So if you drag a little bit closer or further away from the edge, it will speed up. Ooh, oh man. Oh, look at that. It is just wicked fast. Amazing. Great performance updates. Let's look at uh, trimming. So instead of the inverted edge, there's a nice blue highlight um, on the edge. When you're trimming, when you're adding a rolling trim, ripple trim, and if we go and add our uh, dissolve, same kind of thing. Let's add the dissolve. You'll see a nice blue outline of where you're going to drop that transition in instead of the inverted display. Change it and you get that blue highlight. Much nicer to work with. Everything smooth as butter. Amazing improvements. Look at that. Again, look. <laughs> I can't stop this. It's so fast. All right, now let's look at how they did it. And what's really important to understand is what is optimization of the timeline? You might think it has something to do with the codec and the program monitor and disk access. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the pixels that are drawn within the timeline panel. You might not be aware of this, but 
Every piece of the timeline of every computer program is made up of pixels, and those pixels need to be redrawn when something changes. So when the playhead moves, or you move a clip, or the time code changes, that has to be updated. And how that is done um, really says a lot about the performance. So let's look at without optimization. So when you, when you in the old way, Every single time you moved the playhead or any change updated, it would, I've highlighted in yellow, everything that would redraw. So that whole area would be redrawn. And with optimization now, only a tiny area around the playhead, what I've shown you in yellow, and the top left, which is the time code, that's all that you're updating during playback. And that's what Ken James worked on, completely optimizing this. Now, it's really old code, so he had to go in there and, and really root around and, and uh, just basically find the stuff that needed to be updated and not do anything else to the rest of the timeline. So basically, it, it invalidates an area and then it updates that area. It's a whole bunch of computer code that's beyond me and probably you, but it just means that it's faster and optimized. And he's also teaching the other engineers on, on different ways to optimize uh, more of Premiere Pro. So that's what it is. That's how they did it. Now, this is why it's important. Well, obviously it's important to you and me because we get to work faster in Premiere Pro. It's a snappier timeline. Our edits are, are snappier. You're, you're more fluid in the way that you work. But even more important than that is the fact that Adobe made the decision to do that. That's important because there are dollars and resources and time that go into that. That is not an easy solution for any company to make. All right, we're gonna put these people on a job and the only thing they're going to do is make everything we have faster. That's it. And it's, it's, it's sometimes easy to miss that. I mean, I can see huge improvements, so I wouldn't have missed it, but maybe you just thought, well, it's a good day today and everything is moving fast. No, Adobe really does deserve a lot of uh, congratulations for that. And the way that this whole tutorial came about is during the beta, I was reading all the, I'm always looking at the beta, and I read a little note in there, uh, it was like one sentence about timeline improvements. I worked at Adobe for 17 and a half years and I know that that's not something simple. So I reached out to my buddy, Dave Helmley, who used to be my, my former manager at Adobe, and, and I, I asked Dave, what's this about? And he said, um, actually, it, it, it is quite complex. So the great thing is he uh, contacted uh, Jessica Nunez Sutherland, who's the product manager, and she put together a whole conference call for me with a whole bunch of people. So I've got some people to thank. Jessica for, uh, for one and Dave, Art Ayala, uh, Kylie Pena, and uh, Ken James and Ron Riggler also helped with the demo uh, of, of this. <clears throat> so there I was in, in a huge uh, video conference with all of these people and I could pick their brain. And that's when I, I realized after I talked to Ken James, what he did and, and I told him that he's um, a lot like, he's very Wozniakian. Uh, Steve was one of the co-founders of Apple and he famously, one of the things he did brilliantly was he would take hardware and do the same thing that Ken did. He would take a, a, uh, a card that was a disk drive card from HP and then he would figure out how Apple could do it. Instead of over a hundred chips, uh, Woz could do it in 30 chips and uh, it was incredible. So uh, Ken said, no, he's not Woz, but I think he's a lot like Woz that way. So thanks very much to Ken James. And the greatest thing is, he said, this is only the beginning. So they're not done in optimization. So again, this is why the, the, the why is so important is because Adobe is not going to stop. They deserve a huge amount of, of congratulations for doing this kind of thing. Um, and you need to reach out to them either in the comments or on the forums and tell them how much you appreciate this. Please, it makes a world of difference. If you're like me, 
Um, you like to give comments when you have great service staff somewhere uh, and you're doing a Google review and not just have those bad reviews. When someone's doing something great, reach out and it happens to be Thanksgiving here this uh, today as I'm recording this in Canada. Anyway, it's our Thanksgiving. So let's give thanks to Adobe and uh, let's get on with working super fast in the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro.